Well, hello guys. Welcome back. If you saw, if you subscribe to the other channel, you already met this little gentleman. This is Plush Trap. He is one of the scarecrows I made. And I love my little huggy bunny. Now, I know he probably looks scary to a lot of you, but he is from a Five Nights at Freddy's game, so. And my little buddy, I made these guys, I made them um, last, for last Halloween. I was working for months up to Halloween to make them. And the first one I made, actually Springtrap was the very first because I was starting around with a head. I had some um, star foam and I cut out a head and I put it together as a joke. And then once I had the head, I had to figure out how to make a body. And so he's the strangest looking one of them all because I had no idea what I was doing. I l literally didn't. And then I kept making more and more and more because people were requesting them. And they were meant to last for the year. And then what sensible normal adults would do is throw them out. Because, you know, scarecrows don't last more than like a season. And I thought, well, I'll bring them back in. Because they had been in the house, you know, for the hundreds of hours of work they each got done on them. They'd been in the house. And... I figured, well, I'll bring them back in to keep them pristine. Because I know from having done Halloween haunts in my yard for decades, anything you put in your garage, it's, it's just going to go bad. And because I have an outdoor unheated garage, and it'll, it'll just get, get bad, and mice get into it and everything else. And so at the end of this Halloween, um, I decided, because people have been asking me like on the other channel, what's wrong with you? Um, and I get a lot of flack for being an adult, being into FNAF. Even the FNAF was never meant for kids. And basically, people on the other channel will be like, what's wrong with you? And adults I knew in real life would be like, I'm not coming to your house. Those are creepy and ugly. And they would try to bring their, blame their kids. Or they would go the opposite tack. Wow, my children would love your house. And I wanted to be normal, so I kind of wanted to get rid of all the FNAF stuff, and the first thing that was going to go was all these guys. And yeah, they did need some repairs, and they probably need some paint, and that'll have to wait till spring, unless I want to die from paint fumes. And, and believe me, I have done it. I've painted stuff in the middle of winter and had it dry in here. It's like, by Loki's grace, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um... And I decided I like them more than I like people. I don't like a lot of the people I meet. I really don't. And I didn't really like what kind of solved it for me. Was I really didn't like this person palming it off on their kid. And I didn't like people kind of assuming that they could come into my house. Where I pay the taxes and utilities and everything else. And tell me what to do and what how I could decorate my house and that. Because without the kids in there. And I call them my kids. Uh, it was really lonely. You'd go in there and you'd see all this furniture. You know how, like, you had the family member that would have that one room nobody went into unless they had company? That's what it was like for me. And I'm like, well, this this is kind of lonely, boring, and this sucks. And since I brought the kids back in, the house was a lot warmer because there's so many of them. And I do talk baby talk to them because, you know, I worked on them and I spent so much time on them, like, dyeing the fabric and gluing it, and then I would, it was uphill battle to learn how to do this stuff because I didn't know. And you would put it together and then it would fall apart, and then you put it out, you know, on your porch and it's falling apart because they don't like to get damp, they don't like to get hot, they don't like to get cold. They don't like anything. They want to be inside where there's air conditioning and heating is what they want. And so I decided, you know, I actually, I like my creations more. And I'm not saying, like, I'm going to, like, keep them for 30 years or something. But, you know, I'm, like, to the point where I'm, like, I'm not getting rid of them right now. They can go out for another Halloween, even though, like, FNAF might be over for a lot of people. Or if they don't go out, I'll decorate with something else and watch people riot because next year there won't be any FNAF. And people will be like, I want it FNAF. And I'll be like, well, you people can't make up your minds because I had a... um. Mel person decided that FNAF went against his religion because it was from Satan. Because that's what people around here believe, that FNAF is from Satan. So they would not come to my house to deliver my mail for two weeks. That was fun, huh? Yeah, he says it's fun. <laughs> and 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but not that kind of crazy. And Loki was like, well, you're either going to embrace your uniqueness or you're not. And I actually had somebody, you know, from this channel, um, I'd went to see something they had done and they had put up a review of like a one of a kind doll. And I thought, you know, um, if other people can have these beautiful dolls that they get and then they put all these hundreds of hours of work into them that customize, customize them, why can't I bring, you know, my creations in? They're, admittedly, they're not dolls unless you count, like, red dolls as dolls. They're not, like, believe me, I used to have doll collecting magazines. I know how some people are like, this is not a doll because it's soft-bodied. It's a I don't know what they consider because plush people don't consider them plushes and doll people don't consider them dolls. I have no idea what they are. Fabric dolls, rag dolls, whatever. But yeah, they're more closer to that than they are to actual scarecrows because whatever. But I decided to bring them in and Loki's like, you have to decide whether you love your creations and you love being unique. Because I, I looked up some stuff on dolls because uh, I used to collect dolls at one time. I still have mine. And th there was this one lady that talked about being told she was weird and being told her children would love her house. I'm like, oh my god, this is all the stuff I hear. And what was wrong with her and couldn't she find an adult hobby and on and on and on and, you know, like the people that think dolls are creepy and like all the other stuff. And people think, my, my creations are creepy. And I'm like, why? They don't do anything. They don't come to life at night and eat people. Um, so, yeah, I brought them in. And I'm actually happy having them in. And Loki made a point. Because had I left them out for the winter, they were already starting to break down. Just from being out there from um, November 1st to now. So they were out there like a little over a month and they were starting to break down. I would have lost them all. And I posted a couple pictures on Facebook of a couple of them. And you got to see Plush Trap. And, you know, I just figured I love my creations. And for right now, I feel like keeping them. So and it, you spend so much time with them that even though you know they're just something you created, you feel like they're listening to you. Because I did kind of do like a house protection ritual we won't go into. But, yeah, you definitely get attached. And... I figured, you know what, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to listen to Loki on this one, and I'm going to embrace what makes me unusual, and they're definitely the most unusual thing I do, other than being a Lokian, <laughs> because I just, I like having them in the house with me, it's kind of like company for you. I also have the Furbies, um, which you've seen, if you've seen on the other channel, I have like the plushies and toys, I like collecting it, I like having collections, um, I have a ton of Christmas ornaments too, I just... I tend to collect things, and you should see all the books around the house, so, yeah. So the idea there would be, you know, be you. Embrace what makes you you. Embrace your weird. Embrace your strange. Don't don't worry if you don't think anyone else would understand it, or you think Loki would be particularly interested in it, or you think it's, you know, appropriate. Um... I'll get flapped to my dying day until I would, you know, rip down all the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff and stop playing video games and go get a real job. And, you know, I will get flack until I get rid of every plush in the house because I, I love the uh, FNAF plushes and I have, like, all the foxes you guys have seen. And I would get flack to my dying day for these uh, scarecrows. But I enjoy having my creations around. Um... You know, I used to create stuff with my hands a lot. I used to make dolls and stuff like that. Not very good ones, but I used to make dolls. And I used to make gargoyles. And people would tell me how ugly they were. And I would get rid of my creations. And, you know, I kind of wish I had told the people to shove it. Because you you do, as someone who creates or crafts, you, you get attached to them. You almost feel like they're your children, in a sense. Because, you know, you created them. You put the creative effort into them to make something where there wasn't anything before. But these guys will stay until, you know, whenever. Whenever that will be. If I want to keep them for 40 years, they'll stay for 40 years. 
And there's nothing like having people, you know, do a double take when they do see them for the first time because they are, they are, you know, my height or bigger, so they're like five foot four or something or bigger. So they're they're pretty impressive to look at. So I hope you guys like this, and I kind of wanted to make that because there's so much pressure to conform to do what other people do to not do weird things and I kind of even went in there when I brought them all back in and at first I was happy and then I'm like talking to Loki and I'm like god I'm weird why couldn't I have a normal hobby and Loki goes what's normal and I, I, I kind of looked at him and I'm like you know normal like bird bird watching stamp collecting um anything but this and he's like well would you be happy collecting stamps, coins? And I used to collect stamps and coins. So I'm like, not really. And it's like, would you be happy doing anything else? Not really. Well, then what does that tell you? Because <laughs> he's really brass tacks of all things. He will not sugarcoat things. So he is happy there inside. And I've been having like paranormal activity going off because he's celebrating. I even was trying to answer somebody on another video and like stuff was just going nuts and YouTube was going crazy and like the volume was going up and down on the uh, video by itself so somebody is celebrating that they're back in and I miss them I, I talk to them they all seem to have their own personality and I don't care if people think I'm crazy uh, you know if I had 20 cats and talked to them people would think crazy for that too so you can't win as a woman so I will see you guys later bye bye